When I talk to first time home buyers moving to the Pasadena area, most of my clients start their home buying journey with a condo or a townhouse. Today, I'm gonna to talk about the similarities and differences between these two types of properties, their pros and their cons, and some of the things you should be aware of so you'll know exactly what to expect when you make your move here. What's up everyone, Realtor Kevin Quo here. Welcome to my channel where we talk about living in Pasadena and the greater Los Angeles area. If you have any real estate related needs or questions, contact me directly through the link in the description down below and my partners and I would love to help. Condominiums, or condos for short, are single units within a larger building or community. You're usually sharing walls with other units and the building is governed by a homeowners association, also known as an HOA, which requires residents to pay monthly or yearly dues to maintain the facilities. Pasadena is full of different levels of condos that offer different amenities and features from basic amenities like laundry room areas, swimming pools, to luxury amenities like private gyms, movie theaters, and clubhouse lounge areas. Is. Because of this, the prices for condos in Pasadena range all over the place. There are 500 to 1,000 square foot entry level condos ranging from 500,000 to 600,000. There are also 3,000 square foot luxury condos selling for over $2 million. The fanciest and most expensive condos are located in the high density urban areas like Old Town Pasadena and the southwest part of town. You'll also find large condo complexes along high traffic streets like Del Mar, Cordova, Sierra Madre Boulevard. Townhouses are a type of condominium that's a hybrid between your typical condo and a single family home. You still have shared walls with other units, but unlike condos, you have the top and bottom floors all to yourself, and you'll have your own private garage. Around here, your typical townhouse will be between 1,200 and 2,000 square feet. Oftentimes, it'll be two to three stories with an attached two-car garage and a very small patio area. You'll see townhouses in areas between high traffic urban neighborhoods and single family only neighborhoods. Townhouses also have HOAs, but besides basic common area maintenance, trash service, and landscape service, you rarely see any shared amenities like gyms or swimming pools in townhouse complexes here. So what are some of the pros and cons between living in a condo and living in a townhouse here? Price and appreciation. Generally speaking, for the same amount of livable square foot, condos are generally less expensive than townhomes. For example, a 1200 square foot, two bedroom, two bath condo around Pasadena City College may cost between 600 and 700,000. But the same size townhome would cost from 700,000 to 800,000. However, many first time buyers move on to buying a bigger home when their family outgrows the space and need to use the equity and appreciation of their home as the down payment to buy their next home. And condos typically don't appreciate as much in value as townhomes. In Pasadena, in the last five years, the median home price for townhomes have gone up 36%, while condos have only gone up 17%. If finding something with appreciation potential is your top priority, work with a local realtor who really knows the area to find a home that best fits your time frame and your needs. Restrictions and limitations. You'll find more restrictions in general when you're living in a condo as opposed to a townhouse complex. In condos, there will be more restrictions towards things like what you can do when you lease out your space, uh, pet restrictions restricting certain animals or breeds, and what you can do when you remodel your unit. Quick tip, if you're buying a townhouse and you need a fast charger for your electric car, look into a newer townhome with an electrical panel that is already upgraded or can be upgraded to be at least 200 amps. It's very rare for a townhouse built before the 2000s to be able to upgrade their electrical panels. If you don't have an upgraded electric panel, you may run into short circuit issues in the future. Another thing is if you're coming from a place with really good clean drinking water, you might be surprised to see how hard or how much minerals are in the tap water here. Water here is supplied by the Pasadena Water and Power Company. You'll notice that your sinks and showers will get calcium stains over time pretty easily. To fix this problem, you can install a full home water softener, or at least a drinking water system in the kitchen to take care of your daily water intake needs. In my experience, only townhomes will allow you to install a full home system, but you can still install a drinking water system in your kitchen and a shower head filtration system in your bathroom for your typical condo. Services and amenities. Most larger condo buildings tend to have full-time staff or resident staff to service you if something happens. If your roof leaks, if there's a plumbing issue, or the garage gate's not working, you can notify someone rather quickly. 
With townhouses, the HOA is generally managed by an outside company or a resident volunteer, so there's no full-time staff on site to provide immediate assistance. If you live in a condo complex, you can also take advantage of all the shared amenities, which is paid for by your HOA dues. However, depending on your lifestyle, you might rarely use any of these amenities. And around here, the difference in HOA fees can be very substantial. I've seen monthly HOA fees for basic amenities for less than $300 a month, but I've also seen luxury condos with HOA fees around $1,000 a month. Now, just because an HOA is low doesn't mean you won't pay for it in the future. When buying a condo or a townhouse, if you notice deferred maintenance like weathered paint, a fence that's falling apart, or a very old roof, talk to the HOA to see what are their plans to fix these items in the future. Chances are they don't have the money to fix these items or else they would have done so already. And you'll most likely be served a special assessment notice, which is basically a notice telling all the homeowners to foot the bill when these items need to be repaired or replaced in the future. These special assessments can be thousands of dollars and you want to know what's coming before you actually buy the property. Accessibility and security. If you're like me and you frequently go in and out of your home or you like to have people come over all the time, you'll probably prefer a townhouse over a condo complex. Most condo complexes have limited guest parking and your friends may need to sign in or get a special key just to access your floor. With a townhouse, it's much easier for people to visit by parking on the street and walking up to your door. There's usually only a main gate that keeps outsiders from entering the complex and you won't have to go down hallways or elevators every time you want to leave your home. The trade-off is that with larger condos, you do get the security benefits of a check-in lobby or a doorman, and you typically don't need to worry about unwanted visitors or package theft. I live in a townhouse in a pretty safe area in Pasadena, but my neighbors and I have all experienced package theft, and it's very difficult for police to do anything about it. If you frequently shop online and you're moving into a townhouse-style condo, I highly recommend installing a smart doorbell so you'll be notified of packages that come to your door and you can bring them in before they're noticed by package thieves. If you guys have any real estate related needs or questions, contact me directly through the link in the description below. Subscribe to my channel to get updates on all new videos about living in Pasadena and the greater Los Angeles area and connect with me on Facebook and Instagram at Realtor Kevin Quo. Until next time, goodbye.